All right, guys, we are here at the special surprise and we are at the castle house. Woo -hoo -hoo! So I'm sure y'all know who's gonna be joining us today. I don't think Beckham has a clue on what's gonna happen. We are gonna take him to go look through a telescope, binoculars, and finally, night vision goggles. Like, what? What? That's like a dream I've wanted since I was a kid. Now I get to share that dream with my brother. Oh. So let's go pick him up, let's load in the truck, and guys, let's get out there. Come on. Beckham! I love this jacket. Show the camera. All right, Beckham. Guess what we are doing today yeah, or tonight? I totally in the car. I did? Yeah. What did I say? Um, we're gonna use light, night vision goggles and we're gonna go on a hike. We are going to look through a telescope. Do you have any idea what a telescope is? When it's morning, you can't see the moon, but when it's night, you can go to it and look at the moon close. Like it's it looks like the uh, Yeah, pretty that, much it. Like it's close to the house. And then we're also gonna look at binoculars and we night get to look at night vision! Are you stoked? Yeah! Here, let's go, let's go load up. Let's rock and roll, let's go. Yeah. Beckham, do you do you know where we're going? Um, why Virgin? That's where Dad works. Exactly. So Zion White Bison, it's out in Virgin. You're right. That's where our dad is doing a project out there, and it's also a really good spot to see the stars. So we're gonna go check out that location. Yeah. Last time um, I slept there, I got a good view of the stars. Oh, did you? Yeah. Now imagine that we get to see him up close and we get to use something that not many people get to use. Mr. B, guess what? What? Do you see that to your right? Look yeah, over there. Yeah, that's a bright moon. Holy cow, that is so bright. What if we get to see an astronaut? Uh, that would be awesome. <laughs> what are those? Oh, nice and you goggles. They're like binoculars, but you can see at night. Holy cow! Holy cow is right! Guys, you think this is a normal anymore? But look, it might not. What? Dude brought a penny board? You already know what's up. Go. And then. Uh, uh, Alright, so Mr. B from our box of goodies, what do we have this. here? Our first. You can't see um good at with these at night. He's right. With binoculars, it is harder to see at night. But it's good in like the morning. I don't know. That's why we're honestly here. We're here to test to see how binoculars do at night okay. for viewing stars. Okay. okay. Binoculars. First one. Okay. okay. Second one. This is a big box, are you gonna be able to hold it all? Uh, yes! Whoa, I might help you. Whoa! What in the world is this, Mr. B? Uh, a telescope. Ah. All right. Oh, we, here, I'll move these over here. Ooh. Holy cow. Ooh. Gotta be careful. Cause this is glass. That is glass, but look at that, Mr. B. That's Look at how big it is. Red up, Drum roll, please, Mr. B. And our last one is Night Vision Goggles. Woo! These are the um, binoculars you can see good at night. But the question is, will they help us see the stars? I'm glad you asked that question, Mr. B. We're here to see how well they do compared yeah. to the stars. Which one do you think is going to work the best? I think this. Let us know in the comments what you guys think is going to work the best. Mr. B, Let's are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Let's yeah. go, dude. Let's go. Grab the bag, zip it up. I'll grab, the, how about you hold the night vision goggles? That's a heavy bag, dude. I don't care. Mr. B is so excited. I think he's already up the stairs. So we got to go catch up to him, guys. Come on. 
All right, Mr. B. Burger, can we do these first? Ah, we're gonna have to wait to do the night vision goggles till the very okay. end. I know you're super excited. Let's start with this, not the goodest. The binoculars. You don't think these ones are gonna do that well? No. Okay, Mr. B, come over here. Shoot. So I'm gonna have you put these on. Okay. Alright. And we're gonna look at that moon. Okay. Do you see it? Oh my gosh. Oh. It's so orange. <laughs> orange? I think you need a challenge. Orange? Wait. Did you are you looking at the moon? Yeah. The moon is orange? Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's give it a look. Oh, whoa, Mr. B. Whoa. I told you it's orange. I don't know about orange, but wow. Let me see one more time. I knew you'd want to see one more time. What do you see on the moon? Uh, no astronauts. You don't see any astronauts? No. Oh. I only see the gray spots and I barely see them. Did you think Ooh. that was cool? Barely. Barely. Can you see the stars? Let me those? see. No. You can't see the stars. Can you see the moon pretty well then? Yes. Well, that's not the moon. That's the light. The moon's <laughs> over there, bro. <laughs> I don't see any aliens or no, astronauts. That's good. Okay, so on a scale of 1 through 10, and 1 being they're not that good, and 10 being they are really good, what I would you rate the binoculars? Like a 2. A 2? So is it really good? Is it easier to see the moon than it is to see the stars? Uh, yeah. So you can see the moon pretty good with the binoculars, but not the stars? I can't. No? I cannot see the stars. Not Bro, I think we need to try the big guns out. You you think we need to pull out the big guns? Yeah! You want to go to the telescope? Yeah! Woo! Do you actually know how to build this? Of or course. Do you need the instructions? I think instructions are good, but you know us men, we never look at instructions, right? I think you're going to mess up. Way to have confidence in me. I got it. Can All I right. help too? Okay, so. I want to take out this first. Well, how do we know what we're taking out? Let's take out the big holy cow what do you think this is uh the thing what what is the thing um the thing we can see the moon you're talking about the actual telescope part yeah holy oh, cow oh, so oh, first hey. step is setting up the telescope all right mr b we got that big part out nice my what's neck <laughs> it's fun that's probably a bad idea hey. don't recommend doing that at home We've got the big old thing and so now we've got the tripod you know i don't know if i know how all of these things even go together do you know how to build this no i don't think did these even go together hey what are you guys doing over there do you need some help we're we're just trying to look at the moon and stars what are you doing over there Do you know how to set up a telescope by chance? Yes, I do. I would love to come and set one up with you guys. Well, come on over. We would love your help, right, Mr. V? Yeah! Yeah, we need the help. Come on! Nice. Right, let's do this. Hey, what up? Hey! Let's do this. Let's do this. My name is Bridger. This is Beckham. Beckham. What was your name? I'm Bailey. Bailey? Sweet, I'm so glad you were out here because we don't know how to set up a telescope and looking by your device, I think you can help us. I'm, I mean, I'm happy to take a look at it. Let's see what you've got. All right, Bailey, this is honestly as far as we got. Sweet, I mean, it looks like a great setup here. Let's get started. We can see what we've got. So this is the optical tube. The big um, I'm pretty sure that this is big enough. The mirrors are gonna allow you to see uh, Saturn, Jupiter. We're gonna see the moon so up close. You're gonna be able to see some of the craters. I can point out where the moon landings happened and some other really fun stuff. So this is, this is a great little setup. We've also got a few different lenses that we can choose from. Some of these will be great for planets. Others are gonna be better for seeing far, further away objects. So let's go ahead and open that up, but don't extend the legs. We'll just keep it pretty short on the table. 100 hours later. Boom! All right, guys, here is the telescope. Yes. It's all set up. So Can I try first? Well, let's have Bailey show us how you use it real quick. Yeah. Is that absolutely. cool? So uh -huh. wait. Do you guys want to look at the moon? Yeah. We're having a dance party. It's a party. Yeah. It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. 
Do you think everyone from the moon can see us dancing down here? <laughs> no. no, that'd be crazy, huh? So, Bailey, what made you want to come out here and help us? Uh, well, Woo! you know, I just think that the night sky is for everybody. Um, and I love to help people see the stars and experience the beautiful night sky. Especially what we can see here in Southern Utah. Um, here in Virgin, or really just this whole area, we have an incredibly good view of the night sky. And it makes me sad that so many people um, don't really get to experience it. And so I was just really excited to see that you guys are excited. So do you do this for a living? Yeah, I do actually. Um, it's kind of a it's kind of a funny long story. Um, I teach full time over at Utah Tech University Whoa. in the graphic design program. No yes, but like I said, I just I think the night sky is for everybody, and so, so true. I've really kind of leaned into that in my personal life. And even though I don't have an astronomy or physics background. Um, I've had the opportunity to work for the past couple years as an astronomy guide for a company here in Virgin. Um, and I just try to spend as much time as I can out here under the stars because it's deeply grounding. This is my meditation. <laughs> this, is, this is my happy place. And Same. like, we really, we're so grateful to live in a place with such amazing views of the night so skies. True. Well, you know what? I think me and Beckham are very grateful yeah. that you were able to come out oh, and give us a hand. Are this is serious? our first time. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have something super cool to show you guys. So I'm gonna move this chair so it's not in your way. Do your best not to kick the tripod legs and come right over here and you're gonna look right here. All right, Mr. B. What do you see? And we're looking at the moon first. Yep, this is the moon. Oh, I saw Luna it. What in do you all its glory. Oh, the Island. moon! What was in the moon? Uh, was it black? Was it green? Was it blue? What if some people have never seen the moon? What color was it? Uh, it was not orange like the um, binoculars. No aliens, no green aliens with the little <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Beckham, are you ready to see a planet? You know what I see on the moon? Right. Your mom. <laughs> Yo, Yo, Minnesota. Jinx, you owe me a, a candy bar now. Whoa, you can even like, do you see the, that's crazy. That is so amazing. Yeah. You can see quite a bit of detail, huh? Yeah. Well, Bailey, is there anything else we should look at? We were really wanting to see uh, the stars as well. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, I have a couple more objects that we can look at along this invisible line right here. This is called the ecliptic. It's the plane of our solar system. This is where you're going to find all of the planets in the night sky, the moon in the sun. All of these objects rise in the east and set in the west. That is amazing, wow. Dude, you can rush it. I know, I'm so stoked. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. So this is also where you're going to find all of the zodiac constellations. Do you guys know your, your zodiac? I don't think we know what zodiacs no. are. Let's do it. So let's. let's Let's look at the, uh, let's look at Jupiter then. <gasps> you know what Jupiter? No! You don't know what Jupiter is? Well, it's a planet. Does that help you? Is Jupiter the smallest planet? Jupiter is the biggest planet. It's known as the king of the sky. All of the other planets would fit You're inside of Jupiter of two and a half times. Do you think with this telescope, we would be able to see the Milky Way from here. Well, you actually don't even need a telescope to see the Milky Way. What? It's stretched all the way over the top of us. It's kind of hard to see right now because the full moon is so bright, but if you could just turn off the moon with a little remote, then what you would see is a huge river of stars above us with hundreds of thousands of stars inside of it. Uh so you're That's telling cool. me we're gonna see like hundreds of thousands of stars with this? Well, you could, but you can also do that with just your bare eyes because because it, it stretched right across us over the entire sky. So Billy, why is Zion like the most wanted place to look at stars? Yeah, well, it's great because you can not only pair with all those beautiful scenery, but it also has some of the darkest skies in the entire country. Dark skies are rated on a scale called the Bortle scale, on a Bortle scale of one to nine. It's kind of a fun word, Bortle scale. <laughs> and in the middle of like a big city, like the Las Vegas Strip, then you're at a nine, where you can hardly see anything. You can maybe see the summer triangle, which is the three stars that are right above you, um, in like the middle of the summer. Maybe, you can pick out like a handful of stars. 
Um, but here in Zion National Park, we're right on the edge of the park, and here we're actually between a two and a three on the Bortle scale, which means that on a full moon, when we don't have a, a full moon kind of blasting out some of the, the stars in the sky, you can see the Milky Way in really good detail. You can also see oh galaxies and nebula and globular clusters with your, with your bare eyes. Did you hear what she said? A Milky Way. You, you like Milky Ways, right? <laughs> Isn't your favorite chocolate bar a Milky Way? <laughs> oh, whoa! I can even see the little dipper from here. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, the Latin sisters. So we we could just group in some of these other stars, all right? These are the 11 sisters right So, Isn't that kind of fun? Haley, what made you choose, like, what made you get into this? Because this is amazing. Just Growing up, like, my dad would take me and my sisters out to watch meteor showers and stuff. Oh. And I grew up a little bit outside of St. George, and so I could see the Milky Way and things just from my front yard. That's and I gotta insane. say, like, I always took it for granted. I, I thought that everyone in the world had the same few the stars that I had and then after I moved away when I was 19 and 20 even um, I, I was living in big cities where I couldn't see the stars and when I came home and started living in St. George again I realized that what we have is really unique and and being out here like I said it's just really grounding for me I just feel so much happier when I'm spending time under the stars my favorite quote of all times it is kind of like I don't know, it just fueled my passion for the stars and the time I spend out here. From Calvin and Hobbes. Do you guys know Calvin and Hobbes? No! It's like no. a comic that like your parents probably read. <laughs> we can see Saturn, you Let's, guys. Do you want to see, see the rings of we Saturn? Are. We're looking into space. Saturn is one of the gas giants. It's Ooh, Becca knows about way gas, way huh? Way <laughs> that's <laughs> gas giant. Yeah. That's right. So Saturn is very big and very gaseous. It has a large atmosphere, so it has all these really pretty stripes of the different gas layers, and it also has a very complex ring system that's Whoa. comprised of little Whoa. pieces of Isn't dust cool? and ice. Beckham, you want to just, should we have Bailey help us out to see Saturn? What now do you think? I want to see my big thing goggles. I do too, but we are so close. We got to ah. see. I know, it's right there. We just, we gotta stay, we gotta stick through it, huh? Okay, so let's try to see if we can see Saturn and maybe right. we can see your mom up there. Okay. okay, let's go ahead and move the telescope and we're just gonna look at some other stuff in the sky. Okay! Okay, Beckham, take the lead. Can you show us where the North Star is? Take a guess. On a North Star, you wanna look for the brightest star in the sky. Do you think you can see a bright star in the sky? Let me give you guys oh, a yeah. hint. So the Wait, North Star you, actually you... isn't the brightest star. It's the 47th brightest star in the night sky. It's right here. This is the star that has been used for navigation for thousands of years. All the other stars in the night sky revolve around this one point of light. <laughs> You're a little cold. Dude, I, I've always known, I always thought that was, wow, well, oh, That's Jupiter. you learned something new. Yeah, so this is Jupiter. Let's you, find our Jupiter. other planet. That is a planet, bro. You wanted to see a planet. So from the North Star, we can also find a lot of other objects in the night sky. For example, right here, this is the Little Dipper. Whoa. Whoa. Little Dipper. We were talking about in the car. We were! <laughs> That's awesome. And then the Big Dipper is down here. You can't really see it right now. It's kind of behind those mountains. Wow. Over here though, um, this is Draco the Dragon. Right here, this is the head of the dragon. And it's body worn up and around all through the north side see. in between the Big Dipper and the Oh, I see it! Oh, I see it! Okay, <laughs> what else? We've got, uh, we've got Hercules right here. Do you like Hercules? Have you watched the movie you know Hercules? Hercules is the strong no. dude. No. You've, you've never seen Hercules. Okay. Um, that's depressing. All right, here is Cassiopeia. This was a, a Greek queen. It was so big that as a punishment, she was thrown up into the night sky. Woo! They hang upside oh. down. Oh. Her, her throne for half a year. So this is her throne right here. That's Cassiopeia. Over here is the Greek hero Perseus. Over here you've got Cetus, the sea monster that Perseus protected Cassiopeia from. Whoa. And then right up here, do you see that big square up in the night sky? You see that big square? Right city? there, right above us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's Pegasus. 
that's a horse. All right, Mr. B, what do you say to Bailey? What do we tell Bailey? Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. You. So are we ready for? Are you ready for night vision goggles, Bailey? Yes. Thank you. Dude, it's so dark out I know, here. I barely can see the buffalo. And it's dark enough to guess what we get to use. Finally, it is time for night vision, night vision goggles. goggles. Woo! Mr. B, I want you to have the honor of looking up at the moon right behind you and tell me what you see. That was Zion made easy and thanks for watching! All right guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. What a blast it has been. If you guys haven't yet, it doesn't hurt to drop a like, maybe subscribe, definitely subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you can watch our upcoming videos where we do more adventures and more things like this. And if you haven't yet, our last video is super amazing. It's so much fun. Thanks again, guys. I uh, hope to catch you later.